Okay. How you doing, Capricorn? If you have Capricorn in your sun, moon, rising, and or Venus, this message could resonate. I want to thank everyone for tuning in. Um, um, I'm hearing like maybe someone needs to go back to their wife and try to try at least to love that person i'm not for certain um hosea chapter three and four and the bible could be significant um four 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 could be significant but yeah we're gonna jump straight into the messages that's all I have to say about stars. Roll the dice. I don't know why I'm hearing this. All right, Capricorn. Spirit, what would we get here for Capricorn? It could have been a breakup. Somebody got a lot of um choices. It's like you you could have a lot of options, or it, it's time for you to trust your instincts because you could be lacking understanding. It's like you got too many options, so until you, it's it's like you could have you have between a lot of different lovers maybe um to choose from. And you just don't know what the fuck to do. And I don't know what to do. Now, what if I choose the wrong thing to do? Mm -hmm. Um, November the 11th through the 20th could be significant here too. Um, Capricorn. Or... It's like you could be breaking up with somebody because you found out they was a whore. You know, um, somebody's car could be messed up too. Um, some This person could be something like a control freak. Yeah, because even though, if, if even if they possibly stop cheating, they still gonna find another way to get out on you in some kind of way. Because for some reason, I'm thinking like this person don't believe in love how you do. So expect drama. Cause somebody could be doing some type of motherfucking voodoo. Voodoo, voodoo. It's as though somebody can be bored or contemplating coming back together with you. It's like somebody trying to keep the balance in love, work, money. They're trying to keep them responsibilities um, balanced. You know, but somebody playing on someone's top. Yo. It's like somebody could be distracted from working. And it's like you may have to stand on your own because being up all night stressing about <clears throat> what the fuck this person doing juggling you and shit like that or you know it's turning your house upside down and you holding on for dear fucking life it's like you need to let go because you're not in love like you used to be so who you fooling back then you don't trust this person at all and there's some type of long term illness here like, I mean, let me tell you something. This person does not love you like that no more. Like, for real. I don't know what that is going to take to make you see that. And see, you let your guard down. And this motherfucker come up and disappoint you all over again. Stop doing it and then thinking like, you know, well, it might get better next time. No, the fucking ain't, baby. That person don't even deserve a next time. You know? 
Mm-hmm. Then the person they fucking around with is a goddamn whore. But they won't be satisfied. It's just like the reason I let go is because you know, like when God don't play about you, babe. No, he do not. And when somebody fuck over you, don't you know, it's just like when a baby crying. You know how you just going to run to your baby's aid like, oh, shit, what's wrong with my baby? How you think God feel about you when he hear you cry? <laughs> he going to run to your aid and see what's wrong with you. You might hear some um, about, you might hear some bad news. From like a dangerous rival. Like this bitch got all types of controversy for you. Like this person trying to swindle you in some type of way. You know, trying to make you guys fail in progressing. You know, trying to make sure don't nothing pan out for you. So I'm assuming whoever your person cheating with, that person could be jealous of you maybe. You know, so watch out for that energy. You know, especially if you and this person having words or something like that. You know, watch out for the whore. Because she's jealous. And then this bitch, she like, she got this me, me, me attitude about herself. Like, uh uh-uh, pick me, pick me. Nah, bitch. You know, don't even let this shit bother you. Because this, see, this bitch will fuck, this bitch will fuck her, her daddy just to spite her mom. So oh, don't let the devil fool you. All right, spirit, what we get here? Focus on your family too. And you and this person probably ain't having sex because your person sidetracked with the whore. You know, and this person could be somewhat like your baby. You will always be my baby. But one of these, one of these, one of your person's options is really your fucking enemy. And this bitch probably stay like right around the corner from you. Or like she's right around the corner. Like, you know. Let's see. Somebody um could have been, somebody very attention seeking. Somebody could be on drugs. Um, Very obsessive. Could have wrecked the car. Because they got a lot of drama going on. Could have been fighting in the fucking car and pregnant. Yep, your person pregnant as a motherfucker. It's like this person could have become bored with you and start competing against you. This could be a Virgo that got the car or something. Um, to someone, money is nothing. That's the reason why they feel like it, oh, it's okay for me to juggle or something like that. Um. Or Capricorn, you know, it, it, it's as though you're going to be fine. Your money going to stay good, too. You know, bougie. You can continue your bouge. Some gem, somebody could be distracted by a Gemini. Um, some can be significant in a couple of weeks, too. Somebody could be up all night worried about a Scorpio. Some, um, somebody could be up all night worried about a death that could have happened three years ago because it was done by foul play or a breakup that could have been um, orchestrated by someone like it's, it's some evil, low down, messy, bald headed ass shit going on. It could have been like somebody's father could have passed away too. Um, somebody who, um, who someone wasn't seeing eye to eye with, they are not the father. That could be on your person's side. Or even if somebody's saying like, oh, that's my baby dad. No, it's not. I ain't that baby shit. He's not the fucking father. He was just the motherfucking money man. That's it. 
and see somebody could be hiding this death um from someone um your person could be something like a traitor or this could be you capricorn or air or a water sign you might hear some news about that person that bitch with her jealous unpleasant ass um like in terms of sex somebody's played the fuck out somebody don't even get on hard for someone no more um if something could have came up missing or if something was stolen significant from you it was a family member who did that could be on drugs i don't know i don't know all right i got aries gemini significant here various gemini heavy though um taurus Cancer. It's a lot of emotions here too. That's at the bottom. Somebody could be gay. I'm not for certain. Cause I got LGBT at the bottom of the deck. Um. Spirit, what we get here for Capricorn? What else can we give to Cappy Lappy? Capos apples. Um, it's like you want to build a strong foundation. You want generosity from your family or um, love and support, and love and happiness. Hey, love. It's like your person's sick of being bored. We're all bored. We're all so tired of everything we wait for. Changes just aren't coming. We show off our different scarlet letter. Trust me, mine is better. Yeah. Yup. This needs to go ahead and come on to an end, baby. This pretend ass happy home bullshit. Longevity. Uh-uh. Because it seemed like um somebody gonna fight for some money. You know, somebody gonna trying to be stuck here because they want the money, honey. Your your person could be getting stressed out by this other person too. But see, um somebody um oh It's like somebody just trying to break up your marriage. You know, um, whoever this chick is. And they could be trying to take care of your little man and shit. And you might get somebody, um, a Gemini might come and tell you some shit. Um, come tell you some shit, but that person isn't loyal. In two weeks. Like, so watch out for that shit. Um, some Scorpio, the Scorpio could be a friend. It's like they worried about the friendship, maybe. And somebody could have left, but they still holding on to that death. But they can't escape it. Somebody sad as fuck that they are not the father of a child, too. And there will be justice um, with this un unimportant issue, um, this warning, be vulnerable. Somebody took a risk trying to let their guard down, this money man, and there will be justice for they motherfucking is. <sighs> it's like um, somebody pissed off and what someone is hiding it's like, look out or watch out for a chick. Somebody hiding some, something about a chick. Um, whoever this traitor is who fucking around with this unsupportive, nasty, skanky whore. That nigga ain't, um, baby. <laughs> hmm. 
this evil news that may come from this bitchy ass person. You know, this person, um, this some like someone's job to do something. It's like you're about to find out the truth about something though. Some like some played out or somebody dick not getting on hard or um somebody got a low self esteem or there could have been some type of birth defect here. All right, hold on. Who is this thief spirit? Mm. It's like somebody moving towards the devil for the devil to put them in a spot. It's like somebody feel like they, you know, um, they think somebody a damn fool. They got lucky and could have met somebody. But it's like you the one sitting up crying at night about this situation because this person juggling you. This motherfucker loves attention. You're strong as fuck, though, but you do want this commitment. You want to start over. But this person slick as fuck. You need to pay attention to what the fuck's going on because this person planning on leaving you anyway. You want to be happy. This bastard got their guard up because they in love with somebody else. But they sitting up waiting this check out. You wear about this other bitch he's sneaking out fucking. Uh-uh, that ain't even a secret. This motherfucker trying to grow like with someone from the past that they could be communicating one of their options. Somebody can be in jail, but you could be blind to moving forward because you scared you're going to struggle. Stop talking to this dumbass bubble. Dumb motherfucker. Focus on your family because you got new love coming. Cut this bastard up out of your life. I swear you got new love coming. You know, um, this person likes, is willing to risk you for a bitch they just laying down with. And you are the balanced one. You need to heal and trust your intuition when it says cut this motherfucker up out of your life because he's not on your level. You know, you, you, you judge. It's like you won't change. You want to be successfully happy, but you're going to have to lose that person to get that happiness. This person stabbing you in the back every chance he get. You need to make that decision. Go ahead and walk away because you're alone in this dynamic anyway. You know, you want things to work. You want this person to apologize, but they do apologize. They still got to go to work and fucking fight off, you know, the motherfucking women's because they want to leave. This person likes to love bomb um, bitches. And this thief, you could have gave this thief some money. And they still ended up breaking your heart. And they holding back money too. Whoever this is, maybe. Thank you, Capricorn.